I've got to admit, I found myself gravitating towards Perplexity AI over ChatGPT lately. It offers better search capabilities, the focus feature, and a slicker interface. Plus, it's fantastic at handling large datasets and has a handy co-pilot feature. And let's not forget, it integrates GPT-4 too. But does that make it better overall? Let's dive in and see if my preference holds up to scrutiny. Let's say you're reading a story and all of a sudden you reach a line that doesn't make sense to you. You don't understand what the author meant and are puzzled. In the world of language models, this kind of uncertainty is measured by perplexity. It shows how surprised or confused a model is when it tries to guess what the next word in the line will be. Perplexity AI is a conversational search engine that is offered as an answer engine. It uses natural language to guess what you will type to answer your questions. It works like ChatGPT, but also works with Google Search. It's like an AI and search engine in one. It started in 2022 and gets its answers from the web, using links to show where the answers came from. How to use Perplexity AI. First, let's learn how to use it. Firstly, you create an account. Creating an account is helpful but you can still use Perplexity without creating one. Some benefits of having an account include being able to share collections, making changes and getting better preferences. Then let's set up a profile and account. You can also set up a profile and account settings after making a free Perplexity account with your email address. Even though it promotes the paid Perplexity Pro version, the process is easy. To get Perplexity for your iPhone or Android device or to make it work with your browser, use the download link in the bottom left area. Number two, to start using Perplexity, look for the upper left corner of the screen. There you'll find options to begin a new search. You can also explore recent searches or click on the discover link to find new headlines about artificial intelligence and technology. Perplexity offers a feature called the library where you can organize and manage your searches. Threads and collections are part of this library, helping you keep track of your queries. If you want to focus your search on a specific topic, you can use the focus option. For example, you can search for information from YouTube, Reddit, scholarly publications, or Wolfram Alpha for computational knowledge. There's also a writing generator option, as well as a general all category. With so much information available online, the focus feature in Perplexity helps you narrow down your search and find exactly what you're looking for. This makes Perplexity even more useful for finding relevant information quickly and easily. Thirdly, Perplexity's AI writing mode allows you to develop search queries. Not only can Perplexity AI answer search queries, but it also can generate human language. I requested that the tool compose a song for me so that I could test its creativity abilities. Perplexity AI has both versions paid and free, and ChatGPT also has both versions. Let's see which is best, Perplexity AI or ChatGPT. Which platform is better relies on many factors, such as user preferences, specific use cases and desired features. Let's look at a few important differences between the two to see which might be better for different users. Number one, text generation quality. Both ChatGPT and Perplexity AI claimed to be able to produce complicated text efficiently. But because of capabilities like the focus feature and its smart data management, Perplexity AI distinguishes out because it can produce language that is both logical and relevant to the situation. Furthermore, Perplexity AI incorporates GPT-4 anyways, utilizing the most recent advancements to improve the overall caliber of created text. Although ChatGPT is also quite good at creating text, it lacks Perplexity AI's level of contextual emphasis. Then number two, user interface and user experience. The layout and user experience of Perplexity AI are known for being sleek and simple. This makes it easy for users to move around and keep track of their searches. Even though ChatGPT works and is easy to use, some users may not find its layout as polished as Perplexity AI's. When using advanced features and switching between different functions, the difference in user experience stands out the most. Number three, there are both free and paid versions of both sites. Each has its pros and cons. When deciding between the free and paid versions of each platform, users should think about things like access to advanced features, usage limits, ad-free experiences, and ways to get help. So what's the final verdict here? In short, Perplexity AI is best for research-oriented AI assistants, while ChatGPT is best for a wide range of conversational AI 
AI uses. Although both Perplexity AI and ChatGPT have paid versions, Perplexity could be considered the better option, which is supported by many reasons. As an example, Perplexity's advanced search feature makes it possible to get information from big data sets more precisely and quickly than ChatGPT does. So, according to user reviews, Perplexity can quickly and accurately provide highly relevant results. Furthermore, the focus feature in Perplexity enables more customized responses, increasing productivity and accuracy in text generation tasks, a feature that isn't as well developed in ChatGPT as shown by user reviews that say Perplexity is better at giving outputs that are relevant to the current situation. For accurate and up-to-date study, Perplexity AI gives you the most recent information straight from the web, but ChatGPT uses pre-trained models and Bing for search, which might not always give you the most up-to-date information. This makes it less accurate for real-time data. Then, Perplexity AI always gives clear sources for its results, which makes information more reliable and checkable, which is important for both professionals and students. ChatGPT, on the other hand, uses Bing to automatically provide links only when asked for, which may make information less clear and reliable. And number five, the Copilot tool from Perplexity AI is added to GPT-4 to improve searches by making questions clearer and findings more concise, leading to more accurate answers. It's not possible to connect with ChatGPT in the same way, so it can't give us as clear and concise answers to complicated searches. And lastly, Perplexity AI's easy-to-use interface and proficient data management makes the user experience better than ChatGPT's interface, which might look less polished and user-friendly. In conclusion, Perplexity AI has clear benefits over ChatGPT, but the best choice for each person will depend on their preferences and needs. Because of this, I'd like to hear your thoughts on which platform fits your needs and experiences. Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for joining me. This is Dennis Panyuta, and I'll see you in the next video. And by the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.